Hey everybody, Brian Zane here. I'm in my car getting ready to go to Sacramento for WWE No Mercy. I got my tickets courtesy of SeatGeek. You'll hear more about SeatGeek in a few minutes, but for right now, let's start the trip. And we're already here. Turns out it does not take nearly as long to get to Sacramento as it does to get to Vegas. Who knew? All right, everyone, folks, we're here at the Golden One Center in downtown Sacramento. I'm here. I've been joined by Jay Biggs. He was doing some cage fighting ring announcing this weekend at Oroville, so we met up here in Sacramento. We have our tickets for No Mercy, but before we go inside, we're going to be meeting the fans along with Steven Larson outside the weird art thing here. Podcast. Are you guys excited to be here? Yes, for sure. Yeah. And so we've been meeting all these great fans out yeah, here. Yeah, it's been fun. It's yeah. really cool. I'm really excited. It's a lot of fun. So what matches are you looking forward to the most tonight? The one that's opening the show, the Triple Threat match, is the world title. Yeah, so what do you think about them moving into the front? I mean, they say, oh, it's the debate, the debate. Do you think that really holds any water? I'm saying Cena wins the 16th and then loses it somehow by the end of the show. I think it's going to close the Ziggler Miz. I could be wrong. No, I think you're right about yeah, that. Yeah, I, just, yeah, yeah. I think they should have. Because the thing is, I think that's a legitimate show closer. Because uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's Pre Dolph's time. career. Yeah. But they haven't built it that way. In terms of closing down SmackDown with it, we got Right. Three. They haven't done that yet. So it does feel kind of like put upon us. Yeah. You know? But I will say, it is the storyline I'm most interested in. Yeah. I'd say even more so than the world title match. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's going to be a good match, but Ziggler Miz is, is going to be the more emotional one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think they're both going to bring it. I think it's going to be the show still for sure. And then if somehow Dolph does lose, he gets a nice moment to close the show, get the standing ovation. Yeah. So. Of course, this could all be totally wrong, and by the time this video comes out, we're going to sound like jackasses, but yeah. you know, what do you know? Yeah, it's all the debates. Yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> In fact, they're going to close the show by the time the first, uh, the first question gonna, is asked. They're going to close the show by going to a live feed of they're the debate. They're going to a live feed, yeah. <laughs> It's a little closer. I like this. Nice. Hopefully people can see us on the hard cam. Don't steal this shit!
thought she was boring during the thing, but I disagree. That's pretty fun match. you see here in the center of the shot. That's Shoop Shellhammer, who's an indie worker in the NorCal area. Jay Biggs is gonna yell out his name, and we're gonna see if he responds. Shellhammer! <laughs> yep, there he was, hello. kind of dead in this one compared to the other matches, the title matches we saw earlier tonight. The last two matches. Yeah, well, Check especially the women's match, which you already felt bad for because they had to follow Ziggler Miz. Botch is going to have a heyday with that And match. then this one, I mean, you know, the heat's there, but it's the fans aren't buying it right now. They must be watching the debate on their phones. What's going to happen? Oh, he hit L2 again. Oh, my God. He had all day to not jump onto the stairs. Right. <laughs> What's going on? Folks, I hope you enjoyed my vlog detailing my No Mercy experience. The show itself, it wasn't terrific in my opinion, but I think just being there live and being among all the people for the experience is what makes it really enjoyable overall. I had a lot of fun meeting my fans before, during and after the show. It was great meeting a lot of you guys who were in attendance. It's great hanging out with Steven Larson. Really fun experience. I really love the seats that I got. You saw the view I had. And of course, I got those seats thanks to SeatGeek. SeatGeek is an app that aggregates a bunch of ticket vending websites that makes ticket buying a lot easier and, dare I say, more enjoyable for you, the average fan. It covers concerts, sporting events like football and basketball and baseball, WWE events. A lot of stuff is covered under SeatGeek. When you pull up your event, you get a bunch of options ranging from 1 to 100. That's the score based on how good of a deal you're getting on those tickets. Green means you're getting a better deal. Red means you're getting a worse deal. You know exactly what you're getting. And speaking of knowing what you're getting with SeatGeek, one of the best parts about SeatGeek is there's no hidden fees. So the price you see on the ticket when you pull it up, that's the price you pay. There's no surprise fees. So if you haven't downloaded the app yet, I recommend you do so. One of the first things you should do when you download it, go into the promo section, type in the promo code ZANE, and the first ticket you purchase, you get $20 back on that order. So once again, thank you guys and gals for watching this vlog. Thanks again to SeatGeek for the hookup with the tickets. And just a reminder, guys, there is a t-shirt design contest happening on Wrestling With Regret. Click the video in the description for more details on how you can win and what you can win for designing in the next Wrestling With Regret t-shirt. But until then, folks, give a comment below what you thought about No Mercy. Thumbs up this video if you like it. Subscribe to Wrestling With Regret and buy the t-shirts at ProWrestlingTees.com. I'm Brian Zane, and I'll see you next time.